Hey guys, I'm Philip Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. We are in the final real dungeon. We are in the Black Throne. And, uh, okay, here we go. So the Black Throne is, unfortunately, my least favorite part of the game. I, it's, 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 this is gonna make me sound real stupid, because it's a very, very puzzle-heavy area. Um, and not just to beat the dungeon. To beat the dungeon, it's, it's fairly easy. Like here, it's just, these crystals make the walls go down and then go back up. Get through. Like, that's that's fairly easy. But then, like, without looking around at everything and make sure you try everything, um, it's very easy to bypass, like, a chest with a shard in it or an artifact or, or something, basically. So, I'm, I'm actually following a walkthrough. I have a walkthrough on my phone right now that I'm, like, glancing at every couple seconds and hoping I can maintain some sort of conversation with you guys because uh, I don't want to miss something and have to come back. Uh, nothing's, as far as I know, nothing's truly missable in this game. Um, and, and we're going to be going back to the older dungeons and stuff because I'll have new abilities and whatnot. But in this dungeon, I'm fairly certain that everything can be gotten... Yeah, okay. Uh, everything can be gotten in a single go-through of the dungeon, I believe. I mean, we're going to find out once I beat this, and if I don't have it, that is the wrong way. <laughs> and if I don't have everything, then I'll know. Oh, okay, I could have just went. Sorry. Again, I'm, I'm reading a walkthrough while I'm doing this. This is going to be, a, gonna be a, a, a few weird episodes. And I apologize for, you know, using a walkthrough. It's not something I like doing in my Let's Plays. It's something I, I've not really ever done. At least nothing for... Nothing major. I've, like, looked up something in between an episode and be like, all right, just make sure I don't forget that. This is, like, no. I want to make sure that I, I'm not wasting time, uh, that, that, that this dungeon doesn't take... To, ah, frick. That this dungeon doesn't take me ten episodes to do. So I want to make sure I do it right the first time. It might go a little slow while I'm, like, looking at the notes or something like that. But I'm, I'm going to try hard not to... Um, Yeah, okay, I'm just being silly now. These are fairly easy things that I'm, like, messing up and, <laughs> like, reading. Um, there's not really any major collectibles for the first little while. Um, we might even go through this entire episode without a major collectible, so... Gotta hit this guy. Ah, that was so dumb. But, uh, anyways, yeah. So, it's not it's not the, the regular part of this dungeon that's actually difficult. It's the, it's the getting everything thing. And, uh, am I being lazy about it? Sure, I guess, but... Um, if I was a walkthrough guide, I would, like, call this a walkthrough guide. I, I don't have a lot of those on my channel. Like, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild is one of them. I guess Ratchet and Clank was another one. But for the most part, I don't do, like, walkthrough videos. These are Let's Plays. It's, it's imagine you're at my place and, and we're, we're sharing a beer or something. And, you're, you know, you're like, Phil, hey, play Darksiders. I'm like, yeah, sure, man. And then we're just, like, having a conversation. That's, that's how I view Let's Plays, I guess. Uh, I'm messing. Crap. Um, I need to be more silent during some more of the puzzles, because this is an extraordinarily easy one, and I'm messing up. So, anyways, how are you guys? Um, actually, you know what? Um, are you guys looking forward to E3? Question of the day. Uh, are you guys looking forward to E3 2018? It's in, like, less than three weeks now, I believe. Uh, I can't believe it. It's like June 9th is the first, like, um, <coughs> excuse me, the first, uh, I think, press conference or whatever you want to call them now. Um, which is insane, you know what I mean? Like, I can't believe it's, it's that time of year again, uh, again. And I remember last year, uh, a little earlier than this, is when I started doing NPCs. And, and well, of course, they haven't been, like, super consistent. You know, I'm doing one every so often. I'm, and I'm going to be doing another one for E3. And we're going to do fights, aren't we? Yep, of course we're fights. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing something. I won't be doing, like, a... Um, oh, shit, not these. Because these are like, are, like, the witches, except harder, because they're only... They only be hit when... Not transparent. Um, yeah, so I want to do an NPC, but it won't be like a uh, predictions video. Um, I'd rather do like a wish list video. Last year I did prediction one. I was so incredibly wrong uh, that I'm like, you know what? Predictions aren't my forte, but making outlandish like wants and things like that's 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 more up my alley. So, anyways, um, so the the flow of this dungeon, by the way, is you have the main room there where Azrael is. Uh, I think that's his name. I wasn't paying attention last episode. And uh, there's three directions you can go to. And there's, like, a puzzle of some sort. Like, I just went through that wall puzzle. Then you reach this, like, outside area. And you can kind of see in the in the distance there, there's this tower. There are three towers in this dungeon. And the point is to get to the top of the dungeon, do something, come back down. Which changes something in the main room with Azrael. 
and then go up the next, uh, the next tower, and that's basically this. I don't even remember how long this is, but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, we're already, like, a few minutes in this, and I'm, I'm not even at the actual tower. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is, like, an episode per, like, going up is an episode, coming down is an episode. Uh, next tower, going up is an episode, you know what I mean? Something like that. Um, so this is, like, basically I'm trying to get all the grapple hooks to, uh... Is that all of them? Nope, I screwed that up. So you'll see like one, two, and four already, but number three isn't, so I'm gonna hit the stone again, which will bring the other, number, there we go, that'll bring it up, and then hitting this will bring one and three down. I don't know, if you're paying attention and, and you see this at all. I think using my uh, my uh, uh, abyssal chain to kind of get through. And I, I do kind of like how they're like, oh, by the way, here's a little cinema to show that you are correct. You know, that way you're just not like, what, what, am I right? So yeah, so there's always uh, some sort of like puzzle to get to the uh, the tower, and then this area right here, like this little wide open area, it's, there's clearly going to be a fight later. Um, I'm going to use some health right now though, because I need it now. Though to be honest with the fight, it's going to be here later, maybe it would have been better if I kept it there, because I might have to get health in the middle of the fight. Whatever, we'll find out, I mean, jeez, if I die, I die. So here we go, I'm doing more things. This one's not too difficult. This is definitely the easier one of the tower. And we're actually about to get um, our next uh, our next like item kind of thing. So we can't actually leave this area now. We're forced to pretty much get it. So let's jump down there. Do some fights. Do some fightings. Oh no. Blood angels. That's that's weird. So are these guys actually angels? Because they're they, they actually talk, say here he is, you know. They're clearly after me. So are these guys also angels? Uh, okay. Like, it, it's kind of weird, you know what I mean? Because they, they're they're clearly hell-like, but they're angels. I don't know. I think these are, like, the last angel-style enemies in the game. They're still extremely easy. They can attack you from far away, because, I mean, they got, like, sight kind of uh, weapons, which are very cool. Uh, I mean, hell, they're, they're doing damage to me, and I'm not even getting, like, stunned or knocked back, so that's kind of an interesting idea that they're so quick that they'll get a hit on me, and I'm just, like, I'm feeling it, clearly, but, like, I'm not getting stunned or anything like that. Take them out like anything. The only time I want to be able to like be using my my uh, my wrath or my chaos form is, is when they're like these these guys are basically the the basic enemies of this dungeon. Like usually, usually it's just those guys with the swords that chop off their legs. These are like those guys for this dungeon. So if you can't handle just these guys on a regular like just fight or two, then you're gonna have a rough time. Um, now, I know throughout the game I haven't been the best at, like, fighting or anything. Um, oh, there we go, an actual enemy. Yeah, ah, oh, shit, you son of a bitch. Um, I know I haven't been the best at fighting while I've been playing this. Uh, this is far, far easier than apocalyptic difficulty. Um, apocalyptic? 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 Hardest mode. Hard mode. Which is, weirdly enough, actually what I'm used to playing this game on. I've beaten this game on... This will be the fifth system that I've beaten it on, and it's sad to say that this is the easiest time I've had with the combat, um, just because of how hard hard mode is. And to be honest, if, you, if you're just good with like what you have, and mind you, I'm, I would have grinded, ground grinded, I don't know, um, some weapon levels back in the Iron Canopy, which I didn't do, and I won't won't do this uh, playthrough. Uh, that's what I normally do. So like by now, my um, my weapons would be at maximum power. I'd probably have, like, um, stone armor or uh, that other thing. Blade guys are, like, maximum. You know, things like that. So, whatever. I'm not, like, I'm not dying left and right, so. And, and to be honest, that's one of the reasons why I decided to do the Wii U version and on normal difficulty. Was that I don't need to worry about trophies and achievements, but I can still show you guys where everything is. Um, and you won't see a billion deaths because that's what you'd see. Let's be really honest. You would see so many deaths because of how much harder apocalyptic difficulty is. So, anyways, um, so th there are a lot of. Oh my god. Oh geez. Yeah, chaos form it up. Um, I don't know if I'm fully invincible here, but I don't think I'm gonna die while I'm in chaos form. Um, yeah, there are a lot of fights in the towers. It's it's usually set. Like by the time you've done the first tower, you've seen exactly where most of the fights are gonna happen. So get used to being, like, trying to be full life by the time you get to those areas because you're going to have long fights. And some of the fights are long. Like, you fight, like, five or six waves of enemies. So get ready. So here we go. Here's our last, or sorry, not our last treasure chest. Actually, yeah, I think this is our last, like, dungeon treasure chest in the game. 
There are more items to get, of course, but like here's the last like this kind of thing. There we go. Woo! As if this game hasn't ripped uh, ripped off enough other video games like God of War and Legend of Zelda, it's also gonna rip off Portal. Even with the color of their uh, of the portals themselves being orange and blue. Uh, this is the Void Walker. It, it creates portals. Now, the only time you can actually use them is in these, like, circular areas. Um, you might have seen a couple throughout the game. Uh, I pointed one out really early in the game. That's what the Void Walker's for. They can only be used on these circular pads, which makes them a little easier to use because if there's no pad, you can't use it. The end. Um, so, um, uh, basically, the games like this, I mean... It sucks sometimes when you want to 100% stuff. Yeah, charging portals. Oh, yeah, you can charge portals, which means um, when you exit a portal, you have crazy velocity. So you can, like, jump up higher places. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, in games like this, um, when you 100% it, you pretty much, when you're at the end of the game, have every tool. You basically just go through the game again, like every dungeon, every area, just to double check if there's areas that you can use your new abilities in. Um, and I mean, in the dungeon, at least, you have the Horde Seeker, which is like the, the compass in this game, which shows you where all the chests are and that sort of thing, and the artifact. So, at least the dungeons, it's not too, too crazy. So, all right, I'm gonna hit you. Nope, why didn't that work? Oh, there, oh, there we go. Yeah, you gotta wait till the little circle aiming reticle is properly done. Um, what does this do? Oh, who's that up? Okay, so what do I do? I guess I should probably find a portal. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, there's a bomb, too. Read this. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You know, you spend more time doing and less time reading. So, uh... Yeah, okay, damn, I was way too late. I'm so stupid. Oh, get rid of you. What's the throw button again? Shit, shit, shit. Damn it. Uh, so, I'm gonna go back... Yeah, that didn't do anything, obviously. So hit this. Oh yeah, I guess that would that would have brought that over there and like blew me up. I'm so stupid. So hit this. Make the thing go up. Uh, do I gotta, like stand on it? Am I allowed to just go, or do I have to like wait? Ugh, screw it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there we go. Throw it through. There we go, and that'll blow up that. And now what? Oh, so I guess yeah. Ugh. That makes sense. So the portal that was moved up, I, I gotta go through it now, now that I've blown up the thing. But, of course, I'm way too late. So let's hit that switch again. There we go. So when it reaches the top, I've blown up that red wall, and I can just jump through. Whee! There we go. Oh, jeez. That was really close. Holy crap. Alright. Anything that I'm missing? No? Okay. Ah, shit. Guys. I hate this game. Alright, um... All right, so apparently there is a Voidwalker thing to the left. I'm gonna kill these guys first, or at least try to. They're not. Yeah, of course my gun's like doing zero damage. So back to the friggin' crossplay. I hate the gun so much. It's so useless, I find it. It just does. Mind you, I haven't. I haven't purchased the. Um... Oh shit! I forgot that was a vanishing floor. I haven't purchased the uh, the more powerful rounds either. So, all right, let's hit this. There we go. Uh, I did not make that. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh shit! Oh, that was close. All right, wait till the button goes up. Get my void walker ready. So to the left there, there it is. I can see it. Kind of hit that. Come on, come on. There we go. And oh well, I'm screwed. <laughs> At least falling is like no damage, so it's not really a big deal. Um, go back. I guess I gotta find a, another portal to jump through. So you don't have a control over like like specifically like oh this will be the red portal this will be the blue portal it's when you hit a new portal the last uh, like like you'll you'll do portal one and then you'll do portal two the next portal you do will erase portal one you know what I mean if that makes any sense so they're kind of sequential oh what do we got here this is the do I read the map I wasn't paying attention this is the fears embrace Elder Location. Oh, nice! Okay, so dramatically boosts my Wrath generation, which is great because I use Wrath to do Geyser, uh, Blade Geyser. Plus, it, it acts as a compass. Um, what's cool about this, too, is that it acts as a compass throughout the game. Um, I forgot that this was in there, actually. So, like I was saying before, how it's like, oh, you, you have to kind of go through the game again in all the areas with your new abilities to make sure you can um, get all the items and stuff. This thing um, is like 
Oh, jeez. Oh, that was weird. My, the actual land didn't uh, appear there. Um, it's back to here. So, um, it acts as a compass everywhere in the game. Oh, I went the wrong way. Um, yeah, it acts as a compass through the entire game. So, if I'm in an area that doesn't normally have a compass, well, now I basically do. So, that is really, really cool. Um, jeez, it's so weird. The Are you guys seeing that? Like, the floor's not popping up properly? Is that because it's the Wii U and it's not powerful enough to handle all the all the, the majiggers that are going? I don't know. Whee! Fly up. Woo! Fly up again. Ah, oh, jeez, just made it. Alright, so what is that? What is that orb thing? Oh, shit. Okay, well, there's things to do now. Um, first I want to grab these. I am really low on life. Really low. I, ah, shit. I should have waited to see how much wrath I had before wasting that. Alright, whatever. Um, no, Void Walker. There's nothing else to do here, so. Charge you up, get you going. So with charging it up, um, now that I jump through that, like, you fly really high, like, woo! And that's kind of how you get through that. Alright, so we made it to the top of the first tower. Um... We got some time. I might as well actually do this now. I don't know how long this fight will be, but at the top of every um, every tower is this kind of mini boss guy who uh, is annoying as crap. <laughs> his only weak spot is like is kind of his, his top. So you see this void walker thing on the floor all around. You're gonna get you want to get portals going and just ignore him pretty much. He doesn't do much to you right now. And then fly up and then activate a quick time event on ah shit Ramba. Activate a quick time event. Um, on his, like, on his head. And that'll, like, like, chunk. There we go. Get used to seeing that animation a lot. So that kind of just disables him a bit. You can twail on him just a little bit. Um, shit. There we go. Ah, okay. So this... Ah, I wasted a bunch of guys. So get away from him. Shit. And, uh, do some more portals. The crappy part is, is when you go into your, um... Into that, that animation. Like, to the... the this animation that right here you actually lose your portals. So the Voidwalker resets, which is super annoying. And I get it, it's to make this not super, super, super easy. Um, but it's just annoying. <sighs> get, out, get out of here. So he's gonna start, like, just rotating his goddamn friggin'. Ah, the mace, it's coming for me. Ow, shit, that takes a lot of it. Oh my god. So he's annoying just because of that. Like, he's, he's very he's very powerful because he swings his, his friggin'. Damn it! He swings it so friggin' high and fast and not high, but wide. It's just super annoying. Chunk. Hopefully this is it. It shouldn't be more than three, like, combos against his, like, core or whatever. Come on, man. There we go. Is that it? You dead? No. Of course not. Shit. Shit. Oh, wow. Did I actually avoid all that? Nice. See, I thought, I thought my, my dash didn't make me invincible. Like, in God of War, like, I'm pretty sure you're invincible while you're, uh, while you're rolling out of the way. It doesn't look like you are in this. Come on, friggin' th Okay, there we go. Is that it? Yes, okay. Grab him. Grab him. He has the- Come on, he has the friggin' quick time. Maybe I have to do it at the top. So I don't know how much time you have for this. And then, jump on him, and then do it again. What- the, Okay, what the hell? Seriously? Why is this not- Do I have to be, like, positioned the proper way? Ah, that is stupid. Okay, so I guess you have to be in front of him or behind him or whatever. Just try one side, and if it doesn't work, try the other side. That is dumb. Alright, so, what happens after you kill him? Whoa, boom! That's a really cool animation, by the way. Get some souls. This will activate this kind of weird soul orb. And make this beam happen. And what does the beam do? We will find out next time on Let's Play Darksiders. I'm Phil the Blanks. Take care, guys. See you guys later.